And I'm Brian. And we are drinking in the basement. So we're not doing eggnogs this week. Oh, thank God. You didn't like them? It was awful. I just want you to know that uh, Christian Brothers and Evan Williams, completely gone. Congratulations. The Christian Brothers wasn't bad. Old New England? We still have a little. I thought you had a chunky one, too. Uh, we did. We uh, gave that one back. Um, anyway, it's now less than a week before New Year's. So Day after figured, Christmas? Day, Day after, after Christmas, Christmas yes. Yeah. So we figured, I hope all of you had a very nice holiday season, whatever you celebrate. Uh, and we decided to do champagne this week for... New Year's. New Year's. Um, I'm sure we'll have some tastings at the store, some smaller ones we get towards New Year's. But nothing big planned until the last weekend in January we have our... The winter tasting? It's what we call it, our uh, beer and wine riot. Oh. Because we have a ton of beer, a ton of wine, and it's a good time. It's the week before the Super Bowl, so it's between the championship games and the Super so Bowl. So that would be the last weekend in, like, January 28th. It's the last weekend in January, and January it's uh, 1 to 5 p.m. In the um, store. Yes. All right, so, um, champagne. And likenesses of champagne. Yes. Now, so, or sparkling wine. Spar yes. So, I would say that I'm weakest with champagne and sparkling wines. I just don't drinking that much. For some reason, as you know, I don't drink soda. I'm not really partial to carbonation. And of course, champagne is made by having a second fermentation in the bottle, in the bottle. which um, imparts the bubbles that you get, the carbonation. That's right. So I, uh, I do like champagne. So this should be uh, fun for me. Um, technically, though, if it's not from the Champagne region of France, it really shouldn't be called champagne. But we here in the US sometimes right. use like, so champagne Corbell, anywhere. Like, so Corbel will put champagne on it. But I read that in Oregon, they don't even put champagne on it. It's, a, it's from Oregon. Not that we have any Oregon champagne. Can you let this take easy on that one, will you? I mean, really. We don't want it going flying all over the place. Very nice. All right. Yes. So the first thing we have is Cinzano Asti. So Asti is a sweet sparkling wine from Italy. A lot of people think Asti Spumante is what it is. It's not. It's Asti. the name. Right, it's, a, it's a, a spumante, and Asti is the place in Italy where it's from. Now, this one is Cinzano. And what what kind of grapes go in here? Moscato grapes? Is it, they're I sweet have, grapes. I'm not even sure what grape goes into this. A lot of traditional... It's, like, it's $9.99 a bottle. Oh. So a lot of traditional sweet. champagne or sparkling wines are going to... For the most part, you're, you're in the store looking for a New Year's Eve champagne or sparkling wine. Um, most of the time, they'll be made with... Pinot Noir grapes, so the red Pinot Noir, they make champagne out of that, and then Chardonnay. And there's another grape, too. Pinot Men... You had to make me say that word, didn't yes, you? Yes, P Pinot Men Menier. M-E-N-I-E-U-R. -E it's M-E-U-N-I-E-U-R. It, it's a yes. French word. Yes, smells very sweet. Smells like a dessert wine. Yes. Here we go. Oh, very sweet. That's good. Definitely dessert wine. I'll go with berries and cream. All right, yeah. I don't I mean, know why I said that, but it's it will. It's light. It's sweet. Um, sweet. It's crisp. Um, I don't think I'll be pouring any out tonight. Can you hold on a second go there? Go ahead. I'm just getting ready. Go. All right. So I find it um, sweet. I find it sweet not and overly bubbly. carbonate. Not, not, I don't think it's overly carbonated. I mean, I don't like see it. There's some bubbles in there, but not a lot. No, but they're all small bubbles. Is that a hair in there? I got it. There are, there are small <laughs> bubbles, and yours is coming with one of the winemaker's um, lost articles. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's sweet. If you like sweet, you might like this. You wouldn't, but this wouldn't be something you'd have before dinner with. This would be an after dinner. Now, you can see that Brian is um, opening the bottles, and you're hearing the pop, and you want to hear that for a champagne uh, or sparkling wine. Yep. If it doesn't pop, it's probably not good. Also, you want to see the cork expand like this. See how much it got much bigger? If it, if you can get the the cork back in the bottle of champagne, there's a bad cork. There's a problem. Well, so the, a bad bottle. The next one, Vignetti Prosecco. Yes. Um, this is so, ten dollars and ninety nine cents. So extra dry, sparkling white wine. It's also Italian. A part of Italy. Yes. So is this going to be another sweet dessert type of wine? No. Out? No, it's not. And when you smell it, it doesn't smell sweet. I, I see a lot more bubbles in this mm -hmm. than the first one. You know, there's a, like a thin rim of bubbles around the top. And I can no, see... No, no, sweet, no. I can see there's some, like, legs to it. 
But it says, it says in the bottle, it does say extra dry sparkling white wine. All right, so extra dry is a misnomer. Right. Extra dry means not as dry. Brute is the dry style. Or, or there's another even like, there's even more than brute. Brute's right. your traditional champagne. Like, this is extra dry. This is not a... traditionally the driest that you see. Extra dry, not as dry. Somewhere in the middle between like the sweet, a demi-sec would be sweet. Yep. Uh, spumante would be sweet as well. This is not drying at all. It's actually quite flavorful. It's it's um. Um. So I get a lot more carbonation out of this one. Mm -hmm. So I don't probably like this as much. A little bit of earth, like a little bit of earth smell. I mean, not as you don't know, smell the the uh, the fruit in it. No. Um. I mean, it's not real dry, but. No. It's just okay. There's, there's not much yeah, to it. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, I don't get a lot of flavor at all from it. So, Gruet, let's go Gruet, or because it's Man, from... Man, you're running through these. I just want to get to the, see which ones I like the best. Uh, so this is, it says Gruet, but I'm saying it probably says because it's from New Mexico. It is Gruet. It's not Gruet or Groot? Gruet. Okay. And this is a Blanc de Noir. So Pinot Noir yes. grapes make up the wine. If it says Blanc de Blanc, it's Chardonnay grape. And it could be, some of these, like one of these is going to be a blend of those Pinot Noir, yep. Chardonnay, and that other one. You know Meunier? That's a good pop! <laughs> Live on Drinking in the Basement. <laughs> Don't tell your mothers. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody get us some towels? Thank you. Let's pause, too. <laughs> All right, we're back. Wow, well, that's a that's a lively bottle of champagne. Yeah, you popped your cork on that one. <laughs> but I'm pumped. Nice. All right, so the bottle. That does happen. That's why you gotta watch. That's why if you notice, I do use a towel. Those corks can go yeah, flying. Yeah, the towel helped a lot. It did. It? All right, so, so this Brouet, is Gruy from New Mexico. Pinot Noir based Blanche on Champagne Method. Method, so. method champagne, champagne Noir. Yeah, Champagne Method. So what's right. the price on this? The Rouet is $12.99. Plus carpet cleaning, dry cleaning, and whatever other kind of cleaning may be required. Thanks for that, Tom. This is Tom's. Uh, this is Tom. This is Silda's. Oh, Tom. he sabotaged it. A little bit more um, nose to this. Yeah, Almost a traditional not, wine, like a wine nose. I don't know. I'm not getting a fruit nose. No, but I'm getting a nose to it. A sweeter nose. Drier than right. the last one. I definitely like, I like, all right, so again, as you can see that again, you're getting a lot more fizz if you couldn't tell from Brian opening the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. so there's a lot more bubbles in here. Um, it is a little sweeter. There's a little bit of more of a, a sweet I definitely taste like this to it. better than the Prosecco yes. that we had before. Yes. Um, yeah, so I far would, this is my favorite one. Yeah, I would drink this one first so far. I'm not sure the nose. The nose smells weird to me. There's more body to it, though. I do like the flavor to it. It's got a weird nose. I'm having trouble getting by it. Really? Yeah, I meant... Maybe it's the smell of carpet. Uh, was that... It could be. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> so I was down there. <laughs> we didn't film Adam cleaning. It was quite funny. I like that. That was very good. All right. You know, again, it's not... You know, these are not... My preferred drink, I'll drink on New Year's, that's about it, because I'm getting it. You know, I just don't like is that what we, is it. Since it's not your preferred drink, is that we don't don't have any, uh, Villart, is Villart the good one? And then Dom and, uh... Cristal or something? Cristal, where's the Cristal? We have Cristal in the store. In fact, we have, a uh, Jeroboam for, uh... For how much? I think $2,500. There you go. It's in a nice box. Everyone, okay, stand back. All right, what is this you're opening? Success. This is, oh, this is French Champagne, Duval Leroy. 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 Throw the bottle. I was uh, told it was Leroy. It's Leroy. Remember the goalie for the Canadians, Patrick Roy? Well, that's what you got here. Duval Leroy. You, can you see it? All right. So a little bit interesting, this this House of Champagne, so they call it in France, the House of Champagne, the Duval Leroy, thank you, 
House of Champagne, 1859. It is still it is it is still passed from father to son, and it's one of the last remaining independent champagne houses in France. And it's 29.99 a bottle. You're, that loses loses the romanticism of the story. All right. Well, it's not free. Excuse you. As you can see, look at that. You can still see the bubbles continuing to grow on the Gruyere. Now we did try to find. This is the brute, so this will be a drier champagne. We I did try to find the main grape ingredient. I couldn't find it, but a lot of their hot. This is the they kind of the mid end of their wine or mid level right, they of their make wine. A, they make a vintage when the vintage ones are usually more expensive. So yeah. the grapes can be grown from any year and put in this bottle as opposed These to. These are like all non-vintage. Right, as opposed to like a 2005 vintage, which would be more expensive and. Obviously, the other grapes are grown. We harvested in 2005. Yeah. Most but of their most of their champagnes. Look at the bubbles in this one. This mm -hmm. one is more bubbles in the in the glass. But most so this one was Pinot Noir grapes. This Blanc de Noir. Yeah. This most of their champagnes. We couldn't find it for this specific bottling, but most of their champagnes are Chardonnay based champagnes. Now this has bubbles. So do you ever do you ever pick up a difference between Pinot Noir based champagne and Chardonnay based champagne? I'm drinking enough of it. More of a nose, more of a fruity nose to it than the last one. I mean, I like the nose better than the Gruet. Of course, it's more than twice as much as the Gruet, and you can see the bubbles like yeah. this. Yeah. Little bubbles. And it didn't blow up all over me. Oh, that's very yeah, good. Very nice. That's very nice. This one will um, work its way through Monday Night Football with us when we're watching the game. Oh, I still have one more. It's true, but this is very good. Sweet, smooth. It's not sweet. There's a little sweet to it. There is a little sweet to it. It's got a dry finish. Not sweet as in sugar, but you can taste some of the some I of get, the fruit. I get a little fruit. I don't really get yeah. sweet. I get more of a fruitiness. Okay, it's not vegetal. But smooth, not but not dry overly dry. Finish. Not not overly drying. Drier than these little dessert things over here. But better than this one. This was okay. This is very good. I mean, I like the gray too. You got to keep in mind it's. Less than Le Leroy makes some good juice. Le wow. All right. Ooh, I like that. Why are you pouring stuff out? Again, I can sip on this kind of, but I don't really like the like carbonation. Is not my friend. Ooh. Excuse you. Sorry. There are being faces made at me from behind the camera. Well, <clears throat> all right. Joseph Perrier. Yes. Joseph. <gasps> oh, oh, jeez. <geez>. Over the... <laughs> That's two. <laughs> Another excitable bottle of champagne, folks. But I was... your cork again. I was ready for that one. Got it on the rug. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we do these things at Adam's house and not mine. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Savagery while we're drinking the same champagne. Again, uh, this almost has like a beer head. So what's the price on this one? Uh, this one is thirty-four ninety-nine. We're going up the ladder. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Now, when we look this one up, this is the Cuvée Royale Brut. Yep. Um, again, from the Champagne region of France. This one is. Um, when I looked it up. About was a third of each. Okay. About a third of each. Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Munier. Thank you. Munier, whatever. <laughs> yeah, this is sitting well on you. Yeah. <laughs> I think you didn't just have eggnog before this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very bad. <laughs> 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 the eggnog at your family function yesterday? Did not have any eggnog. Had a lot of wine. Right. Had a lot of wine. Um, and and, and we'd, we'd have eggnog all over the floor, not just champagne. <laughs> it's going to be clear. <laughs> all right, so again, a lot of bubbles. Not as many as the last one. Not as bubbly as the last one. Like, they're really tiny. What happened to the champagne flutes? If we had champagne flutes, we need a sponsor. A sponsor. Anyone want to sponsor us? Taste. Not much of a taste. There's not much of a taste there. Again, it's dry. It's dry. There's just not I much. I think there's a little fruit again. A little. Not as much as the, the Leroy. No. It's okay. It's dry. There's not much going on there. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I like the Leroy. I like the Leroy. 
Yeah, I'd probably like it better than this one. Uh, I, I'd go this one, then this one, then that one, then that one. This was pretty bad, actually, when, in hindsight. I'd like this one more, but if All right, so, my what, so what, where are we going here? If you want to spend, you know, 10 to $15, great. Oh, yeah, from New Mexico. Are the grapes actually grown in New Mexico? Yeah, really. Sure are. Um, if you want French, $30 price range, Duval Leroy. Leroy. If you want sweet, get yourself an Asti. You could. That's about it. And if you have other questions, find Adam or Larry or Steve. Or send us an email. You can find our email at, uh, I think we have one of the Maritime. Antioch Wine. Well, that's our email address. Yeah. Or you can go to antiochwine.com or go to drinkingthebasement.com. All of which will appear down here at some point during the show. All right. Are we done? We might be done. We have a lot of champagne to drink. This is not going to get poured out. Well, those might. This is going to make it through the uh, football game. All right. Till next time. We hope you have a happy new year. We hope yes. you had a great Christmas, great Hanukkah, great Festivus, whatever you celebrate. Festivus for the rest of us. Whatever. We are drinking, drinking in the basement. basement.